Hello, and I'm going to do something in LMMS, which is Linux Multimedia Studio, but it's not really just for Linux. You can also get an XP. I don't see an Apple version yet. Maybe I'll do it in the future. Maybe somebody will make this. But you have a uh, Linux, or Linux, I should say. Somebody said it was Linux. Okay. Linux and uh, Windows builds, and you can get it both in 32 and 64 bit. And I think there might be even a newer release, but that one is still kind of under development or something. But I'm using 0.4.8. I'll just show you this like stupid little looping song I made. It's kind of funny. And uh, not to crap on Realtek, but Realtek has a really simple line in. There's like no separate channels for your line in. So if I try to use like this Realtek Gigabyte setup, it's a nice uh, fast build for a computer, but their basic sounds chip is Realtek. And you don't really have any adjustments on the record here. See, there's only one input. So it's like everything is dumped into one input for the record. So I am wearing headphones this time. And with my volume turned way down, hopefully it will not blow out the audio on this when I'm recording it in Cam Studio. So we'll see. Alright. <laughs> so I'm going to play the simple song and show you how this works. click. It doesn't really matter which one's in front, it'll loop no matter which. And you can also use the middle mouse button click to control the looping bars. So... Nothing going on. Somehow it remembers some of the settings. I'll see those carried over. So let's do <laughs> let's do the sound effect. What do we want? Okay. So first you go to like my samples. It gives you a whole crap load of presets. You got like over a hundred of these things. I swear. But anyhow, so we go to my samples. And here's the little pluck piano or not piano violin sound. But we want the plucked ones. Drag the plucked one there. And there we go. Oh, it popped in off the screen. But if something shows up off the screen, you get like sliders here, or in some cases here. And if for some reason something goes off the top and you can't get it, you know sometimes it doesn't show up. But drag another thing off the bottom, and you'll get your bar, so you can still go up to the top. Sometimes it glitches, but not too bad. Usually it's pretty good. But yeah, you're not paying any money for it, so you can't complain too much. Just let the developers know, like when you find bugs or something, just say, hey, give us a bug. Maybe they'll get on it. I think they're usually pretty good. So, got the violin sound. Nothing too fancy. Do you see adjust it? Just. Get rid of the a bit. Put it on an FX channel. So now, because if it's not an FX channel, it only goes to the master. When you're not on an FX channel, it goes to that. So, now when I click it, see how the little bar here pops? Yeah. But it still doesn't sound too fancy. And in this case, I'm going to apply the arpeggio function. Arpeggio, yeah. Peggy, however you say it. So now when you hit it, see how it, it's where if you turn it off. So turn this on. And you get all the different chord types. So I'm going to go with major. Now 
you can adjust the range. You can do up, down, random. Excuse me, how does that sound familiar? You can adjust the time and gate, but I like this as it is default. What this saves is having to put out all the notes. You can just do the main note. And it plays each chord or each or however you say it. Instead of having to type in all or enter all the notes. You can do it the other way. Sometimes it gives you more flexibility. This is just like a fast, easy way. So I go put that in. And then See, that starts to sound a little familiar. It's pretty easy. So, and to make a beat. Alright, so we got that little lead thing that goes. Yeah. So now here's the beat editor. Nothing there, right? But it's pretty simple, like the other thing. You just find your instrument, go to drums. Got all the drums you can just, and it's really easy. It's just drag and drop. Beep. Let's go. It's not exactly the same, but let's see how I go. Like, but. It is, it's not real quick, it's right click. And you can just click them on or off. And that, copy that one, and then you paste me. You just can't copy paste, you actually have to make an empty one first and then paste into it. Alright. Let's see who you got.
effects and when you're done you get you get something like this thing I forgot to show you. I'll show you real quick. Scared. So you get a sample track here, and you can actually drag like one time you use sound effects so you don't have to make like use up a beat or something or instrument. So like you find a weird sound effect, like what is it? Effects? Like, like an effect like that. So instead of having to use up a whole track just for an effect, you got a sample track here. And you can bring in your own samples too, it like takes augs and waves. So I think maybe MP3s, but I don't know. But first you gotta create the track. So if you just try to drag it there, it's gonna add it as like a an instrument, but it's a sample instrument. But if you click there with an empty sample track, you can just drag and drop. So now you get a one time sound effect and it shows the waveform. So now you can apply all your stuff to that. But that's like for one time use sounds or if you're doing like a vocal or something and you want somebody singing. Or making funny noises. Just like one time sounds. That's how that works. Oh, right, that's it. And now you know. So, that's just like a little cool demo of LMS. And I'm done.